Greetings fellow Unity users, this is Phoenix Talon with another video for the Angle Finding Gizmo tool. Currently the AFGT is at version 2 and it works with Unity 3.5 and higher. So that was a feature request uh, by some potential users, so I hope you enjoy using this and welcome to the AFGT. Alright, um, if you are a previous user of the AFGT, you're going to want to go ahead and get rid of everything uh, from the old AFGT and install the new one. Otherwise you're going to get a whole bunch of errors and you're not going to know what happened. Uh, once you've got the new one installed, go ahead and open the sample scene. Uh, if you're one of those people that just likes to jump ahead, then by all means proceed to do so. Uh, it is very user friendly uh, and very intuitive. However, uh, if you want to know how, you, how to use it or how it works, you can go into the readme instructions uh, which are provided here. It's a 26 page PDF and it's fully illustrated. That's why it's so big. Uh, or you can follow along this video uh, and figure out how to use it. Okay, so let's say you need to find the angle between this red cube and this uh, yellowish orange capsule. Well, with the old tool, what you had to do was click on the cube, find out what its position was, then click on the point tool and change that uh, uh, to go with the cube. Now, uh, this was a feature request by another user, and what they wanted was a quick way to do this. So I went ahead and made these move helper nodes. So you click on that, and you can see that a child was created. So you go ahead and take that child and you drag it into the cube. And when you do, the point tool is instantaneously moved to the center of that cube. Okay, so it now reflects what the cube's position is. All right, so that's pretty easy. That actually makes life a lot simpler than it was. You can do the same thing with the point, uh, the uh, number two point tool. Make the move helper node, drag that into the capsule, and bam, there you go. <clears throat> now you've got uh, uh, a whole bunch in the console uh, that makes it kind of tougher to read because now we're in the earlier versions of Unity. Um, but I took care of that. You can actually go up here and you can see I've got a new hotkey. Actually, I've got a whole series of hotkeys here that we didn't have before. Uh, clear console. So I can either go ahead and do it from here or I can actually uh, press Control M and make it happen. So right now you're getting all the angles and the distances between these points. The distances is a new feature as well. Um, so that's pretty much it uh, for the uh, easy stuff. Uh, you know, if there's more that you want to do with it, of course, uh, another uh, feature that somebody wanted was to recall these points back to the main, uh, which happens pretty well. Uh, then uh, another uh, uh, one was uh, people couldn't find it in their uh, hierarchy very well, so I made these uh, 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 pinging uh, hotkeys, so you can go there for the uh, main, for point one, or uh, also because there was a, uh, 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 because there was an issue uh, with um, the uh, prefab. Uh, one, one issue with Unity is that uh, when you're using the uh, move helper nodes and you hit play, uh, they have a tendency to respawn the move helper nodes. So I took care of that by uh, allowing you to make a prefab. So what you can do is you can hit Control L which is going to actually make the prefab and then down here in the console you'll see it says prefab of AFGT applied. Now what that enables you to do is when you hit play mode that uh, those move helper nodes will not spawn. Okay, so now that we're in play mode you can go ahead and see obviously that the AFGT does not show up on the camera. Okay, that's uh, very important to me that that uh, isn't there. Uh, also, it doesn't hit your draw calls, it doesn't hit your FPS, it doesn't hit anything. It, it's basically an editor uh, and in-scene tool only. Uh, you won't actually see it work on play mode. Alright, so 
what else do you have here? Uh, let's say that you had something a little more complicated that you needed to make. Um, so let's put the, uh, the main tool over here on this uh, blue sphere. All right, so we're going to enable the move helper node for that one. We'll put it on the sphere. And then we'll go to the points. And just while we're here, we might as well make both of these. So let's say we want to go back to the cube again and then back to the, uh, let's say no. Now let's go to the cylinder. All right. So go to the cylinder and you can see, let's go ahead and clear out the console with the hotkey. Um, you can see that uh, uh, it's delivering those angles here and it was pretty easy to, to get everything into its location. Uh, it's a lot easier than it was and uh, uh, this makes more sense this way, I think. All right, so uh, like I said, this is pretty easy to use. Um, I mean, I don't really know what you guys need for a video for something this simple. Uh, I don't know why I made a 26 page instruction manual when really it is this easy. Uh, I would just say that uh, make sure that no matter what, before you hit play mode, make sure you apply the prefab. Now, if you're worried about applying the prefab uh, to the point tool, I've already taken care of that for you. Uh, it actually tells you, hey, you can't make a prefab of this child if you try to, use, you know, if you try to use the hotkey. And it says, would you like to overwrite the parent tool instead? And you say, yes, I would like to do that. Thank you. And then you can hit play mode, and of course, uh, you have no issues. All right. Um, if you um, also let's say for example you need to make a prefab of something else in your scene well I took care of that too so I've got the prefabs over here if I want to go ahead and make this prefab I can go ahead and do that and it says hey guess what you're about to overwrite a prefab would you like to continue and you say yeah I'd like to do that thank you so you go ahead and you overwrite that as a prefab so it might be a handy little uh, 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 what you call it, hotkey, uh, just in case you need it. And all that runs through the menu. Now, if you don't want this here, you can go ahead and uh, change the editor script and throw it into the game objects or wherever you want. Or you can just, you know, make it, uh, you know, show up somewhere else. That's up to you. Um, you've got the scripts here uh, for the tool. Um, I've even included a default angle gizmo. Uh, so as long as you don't ever change this one, uh, let's say you accidentally delete the prefab over here or you've changed it in such a way that you can't get it back. Uh, rather than reinstalling the whole thing, you go ahead and uh, duplicate this prefab right here, drag it back up to this tool, and then just make sure you rename it uh, back to the Angle Finding Gizmo tool. Okay? Um, because the names are very important and it matters, uh, for, especially for when it looks for stuff. I've included some default textures in case you want to go through that. Um, there's the uh, move helper node uh, prefab, so don't get rid of that. Uh, and then the uh, README, uh, just the editor script. I've included my own folder so that things don't get cluttered. Uh, basically, this thing is built around uh, accessibility, uh, usability, speed, uh, flow management, whatever you want to call it, workflow. Um, you know, this is built for uh, the quick moving user, the person that is building a scene and doesn't have time uh, to waste. Uh, it works for me, works great, um, and uh, I hope it works for you as well. There are a couple of little uh, graphical glitches. Um, it did not happen during this video. But occasionally things will look delayed uh, when moving the point tools or the main tool. Uh, trust me, they're actually where they're supposed to be. But until you interact with the scene like I'm doing right now uh, or click on something, uh, they're going to remain uh, in their old locations until they, um, they catch up. All right, that's just the nature of having a script that's written uh, not at runtime but at... Um, uh, for the editor and for interaction. That's just how it works. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it answers a lot of questions. Uh, 
I hope that uh, future users and old users enjoy the version 2. Uh, and please keep uh, asking me for updates and uh, you know little fixes that you want. And I'll see what I can do about them. All right, thank you for your time. I hope you enjoy the AFGT.